Well, well. Look who it is. Madonna. I thought when we met you were a bit special, but... an assassin. Hmm. Walk with me, Taro. You're going to love Forli. The cannons in Architadella alone go back a hundred years. The artifact will be quite safe there. Forgive me, but I've never heard of a woman ruling her own city before. Very impressive. Well, it was my husband before, of course. He died. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. I had him killed. Oh. <clears throat> we discovered Girola Moriario was working for the Templars, making a map of the locations of the remaining Codex pages. I never liked that goddamn son of a bitch anyway. He was a lousy father, boring in bed. And a pain in my ass. Look! Oh no! Aspetta! What's happening? They came as soon as you left the city walls, Signora. The city is under attack. What? By who? The Orsi brothers, signora. Oh, sangue di Giuda. Who are the Orsi? The same canali I hired to kill my husband. It's the Spaniard, of course. The Orsi have no world view bigger than their purse. But how could he know where we were taking the apple before we even knew? Because they're not here for the apple, Ezio. They're after Riario's map. Basta with your map, Nicolo. My children are inside. Oh, porco demonio. I see him! There! Ah! Uh. 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 
They're already inside! Double-crossing bastards! Is there another way into this place? Aspetta! Perhaps yes. There's an old tunnel under the western wall from the canal. Bene. I'll be right back. Hey! You! Yeah, I'm talking to you! You spineless dogs! You occupy my city, my home! You think I'm going to stand here and do nothing about it? How about I come up there and rip your ballet off? What kind of men are you? Oh, <laughs> 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 
Better warn the post and find any who saw that. Aprite la porta! Aprite la porta! Presto! It's an ambush! Another dead Capone. Maybe it's still something. Anyone here see it happen? Into the Bambini. But where are Bianca and Ottaviano? 
Forgive me, Signora. They were playing outside when the attack began. I don't know where they are. Reinforcements from the mountains! They are breaching the citadel! Ezio, don't let those bastardi get in here! With me! Are you afraid? Pleasant surprise. I take it you would be the Orsi brothers. Ludovico and Gecko, at your service. Basta! Where are my children? Let them go! Of course, Signora. We'll happily give them back for something of yours. A certain map and a certain apple, brother. See, si, a certain apple indeed. Or shall I slice your baby's necks ear to ear? Bastardi! You think you can threaten me? I'll give you nothing! You want my children? Take them! I have the instrument to make more! When you change your mind, they'll be in the village outside the city! You have one hour! <sighs> Katerina, no. Can't ask you to sacrifice your children. Nobody's sacrificing anything. Go get them back for me, Ezio. See, si. you have my word. The apple needs to remain in the citadel. Keep this safe.
Pecco and Ludovico Orsi. Bored with their leisurely life in the countryside, the Orsi brothers decided to spice things up a little. They started a money-lending business that was extremely successful, mostly because they killed anyone who didn't pay them back. Then, Caterina Sforza hired them to murder her Templar husband, Girolamo Riario, which they did in true cavalier fashion. They rode up to his palace, waltzed into the dining room, stabbed him in the chest, ransacked the estate, and left his naked body in the centre of town. According to Abstergo's files, Rodrigo Borgia, after escaping from Venice, offered to pay them for the recapture of the Peace of Eden. And, of course, Caterina's head. It was the Orsi brothers' idea to kidnap her children. I ask you, what has this world come to when the rich go so bad? You! In the hood! Eccolo! There! There! I'm with you, fratello! Capito? 
Grazie, grazie, Messere. But my brother, they're holding Ottaviano at the lighthouse. Oh, the not What the like a baby. Where are your balls? I'm hungry. Can I have something to eat? Please, Mr. I'm hungry. Katerina was a fool to send you. Or are you the fool, dying for a handful of change? Was it worth it? More than you know, the maestro gains his prize because of me. Mori col tuo orgoglio, per quanto vale. Reguiescat in pace. Grazie, signore!
What are you doing out here? I'm so sorry, Ezio. I'm so sorry. What happened? It was a trick to lower our defenses. As soon as you left, they attacked again. Keko Orsi, he has the apple. What? No! Where is he? We chased him out here. But the bastards escaped into the mountains. I'm going. Concerning the whereabouts of Santa Clara's stolen finger bowl. I may be expensive, but my goods are worth the extra. You are not allowed up here! Eccolo! Eccolo! There! There! I don't see him! Don't be shy. I only aim to heal. What the devil is he doing? Not you! Get it! Ah, almost shift change anyway. Hold, let's save it. Damn it! Damn. Where is he at, him? Prize again. Was it worth it? So much bloodshed. <coughs> A prize of such value. It will not remain yours for long. We shall see. Che miseria nascono dalla vidità. Requiescat in pace.
Don't. Who are you? Stop. Don't open it. Are you all right? What happened to you? I... I don't know. One of my guards had the luck to find you in the hills, next to Keko Orsi's dead body. See... That I remember. Wait... There was a third man. He took the apple. Who? He wore a black robe, like a monk. And I think... A missing finger... See, si. Katerina, I have to go, right away. Of course. Then you will need this as well. The map Nicolo spoke of. Your husband. Ex-husband, mio caro. He swore he'd uncover the locations of all the Codex pages. You will recover the apple, but you will never find the vault without this. You know, there is an abbey in the wetlands near here, where I've seen monks wearing black robes. I'd start there. Now go. Find us a stramaladetto monk. I think I'm going to miss you, Katarina. Oh, I know you will. My husband carries on with wanton sluts. My reputation. And I'm stuck with the bastard. Please, make him feel my displeasure. The Lord is my shepherd! The Lord is my This is my turf. I can outrun any man I know here, but a little bear told me you're quite good. Care to prove it?
You are at 6. 